up guys and welcome back to another video today I feel like I need to come up with a new intro I say that every video if you guys got any ideas leave it down below in today's video you guys can tell by the title I'm doing an unboxing I went to Cabela's yesterday my grandpa he wanted to buy a redneck blind for deer hunting you guys probably know what that is it's just like a big old blind and he's gonna set it on a field that we're leaving standing beans at this year this will be our first year leaving beans standing we already have one box blind on that field, but we want another one on the other side off this little point, which is usually a really good spot. So we'll see how it goes. And I think it's gonna be really awesome. That's the reason we went to Cabela's, but then I went there and I had some money. So I was like, oh boy, you already know. Gotta pick up some stuff. Got a few things for hunting and a lot of stuff for fishing. Spent $200 in all, but I got a lot of stuff. That's not a bad day at all. So. Let's stop talking, let's just get right into showing you guys what I all got. Pretty pumped about some of the stuff. One of the reasons that I went there was because I wanted a new rod because my last one broke. Right now, I have it paired up on my Quantum Pulse Reel. And that's in a six, six to one gear ratio. This right here is a Fenwick and it's a seven foot medium heavy fast action. I can't wait to break this thing out. It looks awesome, feels awesome. I think it's gonna be awesome. It was a $100 rod, so I mean, it should be pretty good. I like it, I love it, I want some more of it. Throwing that to the side, and we're just gonna get into all these lures and hunting stuff. I guess we'll start with the hunting stuff, cause I didn't get that much of it. I got a pair of gloves that were on sale for $8. You can type with them so I can play with my phone while I'm in the woods. Also, I got these because, I mean, they're really thin and they'll be good for early season, as you can see. My other gloves are really thick, so that's why I wanted a pair that were a lot thinner. So I got these bad dogs. Probably can't see my hands. I just thought about that. Why am I showing you guys this? I never can't even see my hands. Now I can see them. Also, I picked up a new, the long can. I think it's originally called the can. But these things are absolutely amazing. So if you're gonna hunt, you kinda need broadheads, right? I picked up some Slick Trick Magnums. The reason I picked these things up is because I saw them on the Outdoors channel and they looked pretty good. So I was like, you know what? Might as well get them if they shoot big bucks. They have a one and one eighths cutting diameter, which would be good enough. Uh, I, I put back 55 pounds on my bow. I could crank it up, but I'm just gonna keep it there because it's easy to pull back. These should be good penetration. It's a four blade, it's a fixed blade too. And they really do, they look like a pretty solid broadhead. Everybody I talk to or videos that I've seen, they all recommend them. They must be pretty good, which is why I got them. And another thing that I wanted to get was a Carbon Express F50, something like that. I wanted to get those, but I didn't find, I couldn't find those, so went with these bad dogs. Pretty excited to use those. I think we're ready for the fishing stuff now. My favorite thing that I got from, well, actually that would be the pole, but my favorite lure I got is this right there. That's a whopper plopper. I've never used one of these before. I've been trying to stack up on top order lures because I'm gonna do a top order lure challenge here soon. So now I got a whopper plopper, which is, I think it's gonna tear them up. Right there, that is the one I got. I don't know how sexy these things looked. I mean, dude, this thing is just amazing. It looks so cool. I don't know the hook for that big either. Those things are huge. It's like five lots. It's going to destroy some bass. I mean, right here it says blah, 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 blah. All right, it doesn't say nothing on here. The gurgling, plopping topwater bait is the most unique topwater bait on the market. Huh. I can see that. Time to tear up some giants with this one day. I just... I got a good feeling about this lure. Can't wait to use it either. Next up is just some jig heads right there. These are made for swim baits. I got some of these, they're white. I also have some other swim baits that are Gary Yamamoto's. They're the Swim Senkos in a black and blue. And I think that's it. I might have some KVD Perfect Plastics one, plastic ones. I'm not sure though. But these are definitely gonna use. I love using swim baits, especially plastic swim baits like these. These two things are just a Cabela's brand swim bait. They're four and a half inch swimmer, swimmer shad and pearl clear glitter. I don't know, they look pretty good. They were the cheapest things there, so that's what I got. They come with four in a pack, so 
Might as well pick them up. Next up is Wobbleheads. I got these because recently in Andrew Flair's video and another video that I saw, they were using Wobbleheads with like this little creature bait on the bottom and you just let it sink to the bottom and you just reel it in along the bottom. And supposedly it's supposed to be really good. So I'm gonna try it one day. I don't know, I just, that's the only reason I picked them up because I'm gonna try it out. I got two Ness worms. Uh, here's a chartreuse color, it's called chart pepper, and it's a 10 pack. These are five inches right there. That's also a Cabela's brand. And these are in four inches in a watermelon red flake. I don't really do that much finesse fishing, but I want to start getting into it. That's another thing I want to start doing. A lot of people use drop shots, and they always work. They always catch fish. I know how to use a drop shot, but I never really got into it that heavy. I don't even use the right drop shot hooks. I just use a regular weird hook. I think it's made for catfishing. <laughs> but it works for me, so that's why I keep using it. And now I love now I got finesse worms instead of using sankos. The last thing that I got, I totally forgot about this. I don't know how I did. I can't wait to use these either. I saw a video about this. My dad showed me it. It was off Facebook. It's a floating frog, so like your regular spro frog. But instead, it's got like the little horny toad thing, the leg kicker things on the back. I'm going to break this open real quick. Well, there it is right there. I guess it just floats in the water like a regular spro frog. But then these things like kick in the back as you reel it in. You just reel it in and it makes these little kicker things go off. Just like a horny toad would, but this isn't a horny toad. This is totally different. Oh, wow. It's even got these little things that the hooks go in so that they don't get caught up on moss if you're reeling under pads. Dude, this thing's pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Pretty darn sweet. That was it. I hate how whenever you go to buy fishing stuff, you spend like $200 like I did, but then it doesn't even seem like that because everything's so expensive. These are $40 and the rod was on sale for like 60 bucks. It's normally 100. Pretty nice rod. And then I got all this other stuff, which this is like $14. This is like $16. And then you got everything else. Heck, pack of these, two of them, one one half ounce is already, I don't remember, it was something, something outrageous and stupid, but that's all right. Now, for the rest of my day, I'm going to a birthday party for my cousin. She is turning one year old, so you guys can wish her a happy birthday. Her name's Reagan. I'm gonna go enjoy the day with her and the rest of my family, eat some cake. Should be a good day. So I'm going to sign out. See you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned for next time.